to quite a few of my songs have stories behind them, and this is this is another one. I'll, this, I'll make this one quicker than the last one. So, Pendulum sent me on a journey, and I was touring and writing more and more songs about freedom and anti-war and and just trying to wake people up and continue to wake up, you know, my myself and. In 2010, I was doing a, a tour with Young Americans for Liberty. You guys, you guys know them. It's a college organization that's all over the country, and uh, I played at Drexler University down in Philly. And after my set, there was a professor of political science who came up to me. And he was he was there for the whole show, and he says, "You know, I really think what you're doing is interesting." He's like, "And I and I, I find your your political views." Uh, interesting. I don't agree with all of them, but I but I think I think it's interesting. And I'm like, great. He says, but you're not there yet. And I was like, excuse me. And he says, don't get me wrong. I, I I think it's admirable that you're standing up for what you believe, but you're not asking any questions. You're just pointing fingers at the problem, and you only got ten fingers. And I said, he he, he says to me that. This is a quote. He says that the, the greatest protest songs that will last forever are the ones that ask questions. Think about it. How many roads does a man walk down before you call him a man? That's a song full of questions, right? And so, and I think it's personally it's the best song ever written. So I looked at him, I said, man, you're absolutely right. I'm not asking any questions. He says, when you ask someone a question and the answer is evident, in, it, in the, the asking of the question itself, they will come to that conclusion on their own. And they'll always have that truth. But if you're just telling them an ideology or telling them, and then you fall out of their esteem, the truth falls with you. And I said, you're absolutely right, man. Thank you. Thanks for calling me out. I appreciate it. So I went home that night, and I was, had my laptop on my leg. My wife, my wife was asleep with her head on... on my leg over here, and I had a laptop balancing on my other leg, and I said, I'm just going to ask some questions. And the first one I asked was, why do we sit down when all should be standing? And then it was like something switched on, and it just took off. And this song was originally like nine minutes long with four verses, and I had to cut one because it was just too damn long. But I, I wrote this with Ron Paul and his his legacy in my in my heart and mind, but it... it, it this is another song with Pendulum, this wrote itself. And I'll dedicate it tonight to my good friend Adam Kokesh, who I just spoke to about a half an hour ago. This is called Liberty. Sacrificial altar, we hold tight to our fears and defend our oppressors as we fight for their lies and become the transgressors as pacifists transform to violent aggressors. But I'm only a stranger here, and I'm alone. freedom could it be when you start to fear creating children who'll inherit the pain and the debt of this nation and be slaves to the banks that 
obstacles, hyperinflation, with the masters of commerce, lies and bad legislation. Oh, if you looked in the eyes of a thousand young children through fences of razors, their innocence stolen as the rain. No, no. 